877-285-4477. With the power of Tandem HR, you are in the fast lane on Main Street with Get Down to Business with Shalom Klein, the show for business and jobs. Now, the champion of networking, the advocate of jobs, the guru of business, your host, Shalom Klein. We are all about small business jobs and entrepreneurship and business. We talk a lot about business here. You're on with Get Down to Business, and I'm your host, Shalom Klein. Remember, you can always download podcasts from Get Down to Business on my website at ShalomKlein.com. And while you're there, don't forget to follow me on Twitter at Shalom Klein. It's going to be a jam-packed week, a jam-packed week of content and information you will not want to miss. It's a live show. You can call us at 312-642-5600. 312-642-5600. We're powered by our good friends at Tandem HR. Check out our website, tandemhr.com, and we've got a lot of tips from them on being a great employer and asking good questions in an interview. That's from their blog, tandemhr.com. More about them shortly in the program. But first up, we have Tom Mirabali, my good friend. He's joining me here in studio. Hello, hello. (laughs) Tom, you are the uh, health insurance expert, and certainly health insurance has been a hot topic. It has continued to be a hot topic for uh, for a long time, it seems like. Uh, it seems like uh, President Trump wants to do a lot of advertising for, for, for your business. Well, because... he's doing something, that's for sure. <laughs> he's getting everybody talking about it. So Some good, some bad. Some bad, some in between. <laughs> you know, who knows? But, you know, politics aside, um, there, I think everybody would agree that there's, that there's a lot of issues. There's a lot of challenges, and there, is, there, there certainly are, is a need for, for changes. I know you've been following, we were talking before we came on the air about a specific amendment by Senator Ted Cruz that you've looked at with quite a bit of great interest. Tell, tell our listeners a little bit about it. Well, it's like I mentioned, it, the Cruz Amendment is letting people choose their own, their own plan. I mean, there are high-risk people, there are low-risk people. The low-risk people can go through underwriting questions and get a better plan. The high-risk people would be on the Obamacare plan because there's no underwriting. But it's going to be extremely costly. Now, if the Cruz Amendment is initiated, I have to look at myself in the mirror and say, I've been selling this plan for 20 years. It's very simple, you know, and uh, it has no maternity coverage. What would a 60-year-old man or woman want with maternity coverage? Right. They're, right. they're paying for it. They're paying two, $300 more a month under the Affordable Care Act for maternity coverage. It's a waste of money. So let's go to the basics of uh, health insurance coverage. And I know we've talked about it in earlier right. segments on the show, but I, I think that for so many listeners that uh, that don't live this every day, I know you do, and you are the professional that certainly we recommend our listeners get in touch with to demystify the uh, the topic. But m- most people out there, they know they need insurance, but they don't know what they need, A, right. and they don't want to pay too much. They want to get the coverage that they need, not too much, not too little, and they don't like a lot of fees. They don't want to see uh, you know, added penalties here Correct. and there. And let's talk about the basics. Open enrollment. What is the period of open enrollment? Well, it changes every year. Okay. Uh, last time it was uh, 60, 90 days, somewhere along that. Now it's down to 45 days this year. Okay. It's going to start around October 15th, and it's going to end around December 15th. So it's not even going to make it into January. Last year, we went all the way to February 29th. <laughs> Interesting. Right. Th- so, that's part of why uh, why people out there don't like this topic so much is because it's so freaking confusing. Can't stand it. And to throw gas on the fire, rumor has it that the uh, of Affordable Care Act is going to go up 38% in so, premiums. So let's talk about that. Here in Illinois, let's talk about what... Yeah, it's a common topic out there. The Affordable Care Act premiums are going up. Um, you know, the president speaks about it frequently. Obamacare is is failing. I think everybody agrees changes are needed here in Illinois. What is most relevant? Politics aside, what 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 predictions do you have in terms of the marketplace and costs to individuals like those listening to our program tonight? Well, like I say, if they're going to go on. On the exchange or through an individual broker, it's going to, rumor has it, anywhere from 35 to 38% higher premiums. Okay? Yes, you don't have to go through underwriting questions, but you're going to have maternity coverage, whether you want it or not. Here, I, got, I have a, a gentleman yesterday who bought one of my, quote-unquote, Ted Cruz's plans. <laughs> yeah, I shouldn't say that because it's yeah. not really through. But um, 
see, he was 60, 63 years old. Uh, under the Affordable Care Act, he would have to pay $937 per month. Okay? And I got him a plan, a short-term major medical plan, uh, for $360 a month. And that's 100% coverage after a $2,500 deductible. The Affordable Care Act, you've got $6,000 deductibles plus. And people are just pulling their hair out. So as I've said in the past, Tom, what what I love about your services is you're sitting down one-on-one, having conversations, being creative about the right coverage for the individual. Correct. A, uh, you know, the fellow that you just mentioned, I think you said uh, an, uh, a male around 50 years old, he needs a different set of coverage, uh, a different set of coverage than somebody that might be older or younger, Correct. male, female, and you're being creative. The one problem that I have, Tom, is that uh, if Senator Cruz ends up at any point, at some point, you know, he's going to retire. He's not going to be in office anymore. And he's going to meet with you and he's going to say, you've been selling my plan. <laughs> he's going to want some money I want from it. Royalties. I want want royalties. It's a problem, (laughs) Tom. You're going to be in trouble. One of the things that I hear frequently from our listeners that have heard you on Get Down to Business in the past is the examples that you've provided, much like the one you just shared about the 50-year-old male. Um, 63. 63. Sorry. (laughs) 63-year-old male. Thank you for catching me on that. They're able to hear uh, the the relevance to their specific example. I know you get calls every day. You were telling me about a call you got got literally just just today. Give us a few other examples of of ways that you've been able to be creative and and save some people money. Well, a lot of people are saving the money on these short-term major medical plans. And you mentioned something at the start of the show that President Trump he has got to drop the penalties. Right. This is one thing I w- I'm faulting President Trump on, and I like the guy. I think business guy. He said he was going to eliminate the penalties. The penalties. You're not seeing them go away. <laughs> I not yet. In yeah. that six months, you yeah. know. But he said the six hundred ninety five dollar per adult. We're going to get rid of it. Okay. The two and a half percent of adjusted gross income. We're going to get rid of it. We're going to drop all the penalties. That would be sufficient. That would be sufficient. That's a that's a good way to start. Okay? Yeah. Um. But as far as as far as all of these, how could I say, people who are not buying insurance to begin with and their income is down, where are those people going? All right. They're going on Medicaid. <laughs> Which uh, and, that, 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 that system's uh, not doing too well. And where does Medicaid right. get their funding? From we, the taxpayers. That's you right. know, so those it, it's not working out and uh you got to change it and i know we were talking about this uh right before the show but i i agree with you about the penalties and i agree that that's that's the area that the president should be making the the most impact right and i know that he has rolled back regulations and that's all mm-hmm. all, all good and fine but uh i i gotta tell you again just sort of laying it all out there i think these priorities are 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 not uh, are not based in reality. Today he came out and he says he's going to uh, aggressively uh, aggressively uh, enforce marijuana regulations. I just don't see that as a priority. I think that's foolish. Totally foolish. And then, you know, I was talking with a, a family member, the Cuba policy. Cuba policy, he decided that he wants to he wants to uh, go back on, on Obama's Cuba policy. I don't know. I'm not an expert on, on international trade. No, I'm sure I. that there's opportunities to, to fix sure. up the deal. I'm, I'm sure that just doesn't seem like a very high priority. Right. It, focus on these things. Right. That's what people right. want to see. That's what people want. So President Trump, I know you, you watch a lot of TV. I don't know what you do about radio, but come on. Oh, listen. he's listening. He's, he's like, come of on. Course he is. Of course W-I-N-D, he is. WIND 560? Come on. That's the question. <laughs> Let's talk briefly about existing medical conditions because yes. many people that, that, that are looking for coverage, they come onto a plan with existing conditions by no fault of their own. Yeah. Are there options for them? I know you mention all over your website, I believe with a big exclamation mark at the end, guaranteed acceptance. You will find a plan for them? We're talking about it. Obamacare. Yeah. You, you just have to have a special enrollment provision. Uh, if you get divorced, you've got 60 days to sign up for Obamacare. If you move, you've got 60 days from the changing your address to sign up for the Affordable Care Act. So there are ways. Uh, the Affordable Care Act would be the fallback for people with pre-existing right. conditions. OK, we're looking at uh, plans for people who are very healthy, don't want maternity and they don't want to pay these high prices for Obamacare. And finally, there's uh, there's health saving accounts, PPOs. I oh, um, love them. With the uh, lowest monthly premiums anywhere. And I know that you uh, are a strong promoter of that. Yeah. But speaking of being a strong promoter, we are running out of time. And I very, very much want to make sure 
that our listeners can get a hold of you um, and uh, have that conversation with you. So you're at 630-863-3477. Correct. 630-863-3477. Call Tom Mirabali. He is the uh, you, he's your health insurance advocate expert. Uh, he knows every plan that's out there, the, including the uh, I, I know uh, we, we we sort of are we're critical of it, the Affordable Care Act, but the exchanges. Right. But bottom right. line, you know how to use the plan. You have to. to. Yeah, you have yeah. to. That's right. Yeah. And let's let's hope that uh, that we are available seven days a week. So if people call me on a Saturday or Sunday, the phone. I might not pick it up, but I will get the message, and I will call them back. Okay, that's fantastic. 630-863-3477. Call Tom Mirabali today. Again, he might not answer the phone right now, but he will get back to you. Oh, wait, my phone. Oh, oh, there wait, we go. Oh, here we People go. Are calling. Coming up after this very quick break, we've got Dustin Matthews. We're going to talk about the power of a fantastic presentation, something a need for everybody in business. We'll be right back after this quick break with Dustin Matthews. Don't touch that dial.